In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a pond in HEC RAS. But before showing you how to do that in HEC RAS, I'm going to start with GIS to show you the location of the pond. So this is going to be a stormwater pond right over here, as you can see. And there is a channel running right over here from north to south. So you're going to take water into this pond, and then there is going to be an outlet to the back to the channel. Um, there are a couple of things that you need in order to create your pond in HEC RAS, specifically to use terrain modification uh, to create your pond. Number one, you need to have um, a shape file that has the area of your pond. This is, would be the ponding area. So I'm gonna, uh, if I go to attribute table, your polygon should only have one row. This would be the first requirement. The second thing that you need to have is a line feature that shows you the pond berm. Right now, there is no pond feature because I haven't created that pond feature. So what you need to do, you need to go to geoprocessing uh, in an, a, any folder that you want to, create a pond feature that is a polyline and has the same coordinate system as your HEC RAS um, coordinate system and create this a, a polyline over here. So the next thing that we need to do, and obviously we're going to use this pond, the polygon, to set the bottom of our uh, pond, and we're going to use this yellow polyline to represent the pond berm in HEC RAS. All right, so now I'm going to edit and create using this pond berm. Um, the key is to start somewhere in the middle. You don't want to start from the corners of your um, pond, actually. And actually, before doing that, I'm going to press Escape. Before doing that, if I zoom in into this area, you can see that the edges of the pond are pretty, pond are pretty sharp. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to make these edges a little bit smoother. So in your geoprocessing, I'm doing this in... Um, ArcGIS Pro, you can do it in QGIS. Um, I'm going to use the smooth function, smooth polygon specifically, to smooth the edges of this pond. So the feature that I want to smooth is my polygon, the pond, and let's see, I want to see, I want to say maybe 30 feet would be the smoothing tolerance. That would be how much smoothing this will get. And I'm going to run this. And when I do that, okay, so I get the smooth polygon. I'm going to turn off the original pond and take a look at that. Now we have the smoother polygon. This will, this will um, actually a good practice to do specifically when you are creating your um, cells and mesh in RAS. This would be helpful. Okay, so um, now that I have this, I am going to click on create and in the pond berm over here, start from somewhere in the middle, doesn't matter where, somewhere in the middle, do not start from the edges. So I'm going to start somewhere from here and create a line over the boundaries of my pond. And when you get to the corners, zoom in a little bit so you can get the curve a little bit better. Um, I am going to do this really quick. You can do it a little bit more accurate to get the curve, but I'm going to do this pretty quickly. Okay, um, this will help us to create the berm of the pond in HEC RAS. So I am going to fast forward this process, and when I'm done, I'm going to resume the video so you can see the entire um, berm that I have created for the pond. All right, so now you can see that I have created this line, polyline for the majority of the pond, but I don't want to connect these two points together. And I will tell you why. If you do this, sometimes there will be some errors in creating the berms in HEC RAS, but if you select a point that is farther from your starting point right over here and double click, so this would be one feature and we're going to add another line that connects this feature 
to this feature and I'm going to double click. So now if I right click on my pond berm and go to the attribute table, I should have two rows. These two rows, one of them, this one represents the longer one. And this one, which is in the middle, represents the shorter one. This is how we want our pond berm layer to be uh, formed. Okay. And then I'm going to save the edits. Perfect. All right. So now the last thing that you want to do, you want to make sure that these are saved in a folder before going to HEC RAS to show you how to import them in um, HEC RAS. So you want to right click on these, select data, export your feature to the folder that you want to, and then we are going to go to HEC RAS and I will show you how to import them right over there. All right, now we are in HEC RAS, and um, this map is showing the same location that you saw in ArcGIS. Now you can see the terrain over here. This is obviously the existing terrain, meaning that there is no um, pond over here. We want to add the per pond to this terrain using terrain modifications. All right, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to right click on the features and add the layers that we created in GIS. Those layers are pond berm, which is a polyline, and the smooth pond, which is a polygon. So we're going to add them right over here. Um, we don't need them anymore, so I'm going to check them off. So right click on your terrain, and we're going to create a virtual clone of the terrain, and I'm going to call it pond edition. Pond edition looks like maybe I have already created that before, so I'm going to say one. There we go. So um, I'm going to turn off the original terrain. So any modifications that I'm going to do is going to be on this pond edition terrain that I just cloned. Perfect. So the first thing that I want you to do to extend this, turn on modification, and then under the modification, right click on it, we are going to add the bottom of the pond. The bottom of the pond is going to be the polygon, the smooth polygon. And that polygon is a multi-point polygon. So I'm going to click on that. Maybe I can call it bottom. Okay, so this is right now empty, obviously. We're going to essentially copy all the features of the smooth pond polygon and paste it right over here. In order to do that, you, I'm going to start editing when smooth, poly, smooth pond is selected. Right click on it, copy all uh, features, and then paste them right over here. So they're going to be paste features right over here. Okay, so as you can see right now, there are random elevation changes over here. If you select this edit feature and right click and edit polygon, we're going to set a constant elevation for this. But how do I know what constant elevation do I want to? Before doing that, let's cancel and I'm going to show you something. So if I create a cross section from here to here, Forget about these flat lines. These are the artifacts that were added because we added that polygon. This is the channel, the river. We're going to add a pond right over here. Okay. So the, the bottom of the pond, I want to be about maybe let's say what's the, what's um, uh, six. Yeah, why not? Six feet. Okay. So now again, um, what I'm going to do, going to, oops, um, press that by mistake. Take. I am going to stop editing so I get rid of that and save the edit so far. So now I can start editing again. Select your edit feature, right click on your polygon, edit polygon modification, constant elevation, and put it to six feet and apply. Now you should see. Now you can turn off the smooth pond as well. Now you can see there is only one color represented over here, which means if I create a cross section, this is the bottom of the pond in the modified terrain that I have um, created. Okay, so this is useful, but remember that we created the berms for the pond as well. So when we are creating those berms, we are going to create a slope for the sides of the pond as well. Right now, the sides of the ponds are vertical, and we do not want that because these are not stable, obviously. So um, 
let's stop editing over here and save our edits. We can turn this off for now. Um, similarly, I'm going to right click on modification, add this time a line, but what kind of line? Berms are high ground, right? So I'm going to add high ground, call them pond berm right over here. Similarly, I'm going to click on pond berm, start editing, right click, um, copy all features, go to pond berm over here and paste the features right over here. So you can see automatically it adds a high ground over here, but uh, we want to modify this. And remember that this polyline had two parts. So I'm going to select this, right click on this polygon. You can see one part of it is getting selected. That's okay. We can select the other part later. The only reason that you're creating two uh, line features is that if you create one line feature, sometimes um, terrain modification gives you this weird shapes of ber berms around the edges of your pond. That's why we have two different um, lines. So edit ground modification, top of top width of the pond, I'm going to select 15. And I like the side slope of three to one. So for the left and right hand side one, I'm not going to change anything else. The only thing that I'm going to change is going to be the elevation of the top of the berm. Um, so let's put it, you can see that right now this elevation is lower than the side. So I'm going to maybe select 15 and see how it looks like 15 and click OK. Okay. So this is not bad. Let's double check it. All right. That's pretty good. These are the berms of the pond and you can see the slope of three, two, one. That is perfect. Okay. Um, now we need to do this for this section as well. So similarly, I am going to um, essentially click on this edit feature, right click ground line. I think we selected 15 if I am, if I remember it correctly. And oh, 15 also for the elevation of the pond, the berms of the pond. So, okay then stop editing and yes, you can turn these off and turn this off. Now this is the pond in your terrain modified train. Let's create a cross section over here and see how it looks like. Looks pretty good to me and compared to the river that we have right over here, this is the river and this is the pond. Perfect. Now, um, let's compare this to the original terrain. So this is the original terrain. And this is the modified pond that we have added to our terrain. So now you have the existing condition and proposed conditions. The next step that maybe I will talk about that in a, uh, a future video is going to be how to create an inlet to this pond that takes water from the river into the pond and how to create an outlet for this pond that adds the water back to the river. All right, that was the video today.